started collecting toys ever since I was a child. Started selling them on the schoolyard as a, as a kid, you know, for extra milk money. When I got out of college, I got a job at a sci-fi and retail chain that hired me as a buyer for a chain of retail stores all over the world. When I when the company shut down, I actually bought all the inventory at 10 cents on the dollar. Started my inventory for my company, Hollywood Heroes. We've been buying and selling toys ever since for 25 years. About a year and a half ago, a company in New York City called Sharp Entertainment, which was a production company, found me. They brought me in for an audition for the new show they're working on for Travel Channel called Toy Hunter. We filmed the pilot. It did extremely well in the ratings. It did stream extremely well with social media. Travel Channel picked up the, the order for season one, and here we are. We've been filming for the last three or four months. So I've been enjoying the show so far. I've definitely seen uh, all the episodes, but tell me what sort of, obviously you've said your history, but what makes a toy expert? I mean, you can walk around here and look at toys all day long, yeah. but when do you actually know about toys? Uh, you know, it's a very good question. I think really what people consider a toy expert is when you do it every single day, day in and day out as a profession. I don't have any other job but this. This is all I've done for 25 years. I talk to a lot of people in the industry. I talk to a lot of other dealers. I go in and I hunt out these toys day in and day out and sell them day in and day out. And I try to read up and, and learn as much as I can about the product I sell, i.e. expert. <laughs> so you must come to a lot of conventions like this. What celebrate, uh, separates celebration from some of the others that you go to? You know, I, it's a great question. I think it's actually just the feeling, the, the overall feeling that, that the fans give to the whole show. A lot of, you know, conventions sell a lot of wares and, and a lot of media stuff and everything, but it's the people that really make the Star Wars celebration so special because Star Wars has been going on and on for so many years and people are still fanatical about it today as much today as they were back in the 1970s. So really it's that passion that the collectors have that makes Star Wars celebration so special to me. And that's clear when you watch the show, you know, you come across a rare Star Wars toy from years ago. That speaks a lot more than, you know, some of, some of the other rare items. Oh, a absolutely. And to, me, and to me especially, because Star Wars is what I collected when I was a child. So out of all the toys I sell and buy, Star Wars always has a little soft spot in my heart. Now we're here in Orlando, of course, home to theme parks and really Disney. In your experience, what have you found to sort of be the rare Disney items over the years that you would be looking for when going toy hunting? Well, the, Disney's great because Disney had such a broad range of merchandise. Um, a lot of the old tin toys from the 1940s are really, really popular right now. They're very, very expensive, tough to find, but we do cover them on an, up, on an upcoming episode, so I'm really psyched about that. I really want people to understand that the Disney collectibles and even the pin collecting nowadays is becoming really, really popular on the secondary market. Definitely. I mean, and then there's crossover. Of course, Disney has a lot of partnerships with Star Wars and many other properties. When you get sort of two big companies like that together, does that increase or decrease the value, or does it really depend on what the specific item is? It, it pretty much a case-by-case -case basis. It, you know, um, the beautiful thing about Disney, okay, is Disney will do a lot of exclusives only to the theme park. And that's really where the collectability factor comes in. So if you have a toy or a piece of merchandise that is exclusive, only to Disney parks or only to Disney Europe or, or, or something like that, then you start really getting into this niche market of collectability and merchandising and marketing with the Disney name as well as, say, the Star Wars name that really appeals to collectors. And how has it uh, been going here at Celebration? I, you've obviously got a lot of toys here at the booth. Has it been just nonstop? It's been, it's been great. I'm having a blast. We're doing sales, talking to people, just, you know, geeking out on Star Wars. I'm happy. <laughs> And uh, should we look forward to many more episodes of the show? It is very, very entertaining. Yeah, I, I hope so. I hope I'm here on Travel Channel for many years to come.